but I like the fact that it's a vision focused on your success. Think of people in history who you consider to be visionaries, people who see beyond what the average person sees, something that we can't all immediately have evident to ourselves. When, when a visionary sees something and gets followers behind them, amazing things happen. And when I was a child, John F. Kennedy envisioned a man on the moon in eight years. In totally impossible. This was the time of uh, life when uh, televisions still used the vacuum tubes, if you, <laughs> any of you still remember that. <laughs> to think of going to the moon in eight years was totally impossible, and yet they did it. Well, if this is Ambit's vision, focused on your success, how have we done? In eight years, We've created that financial freedom that Cindy was talking about for literally thousands of people. So align yourself with, a, with someone who's got a vision, and you can go very, very far with this company. Now I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Any good vision needs to be articulated by a vision statement. Essentially, this is who we are. We are to become the finest and most respected retail energy provider in America. Please notice it doesn't say richest. It doesn't say biggest, although we are kind of heading that direction. It doesn't say most profitable, finest and most respected. To me, that speaks of integrity, it speaks of honesty, it speaks of fairness. And the gentleman who articulated this particular vision statement is one of our founders on the right-hand side, Jerry Thompson, Jr., along with Chris Chambliss, his partner, founded Ambit Energy in 2006. Now, what you need to know about Jerry is uh, my, my father was a chauffeur, so I learned how to drive. Jerry's father and the rest of his family founded the company that began the 7-Eleven franchise. So I can only imagine the business experience and education and business that a gentleman like that has with those kinds of mentors at the dinner table every night. Um, he co-founded with uh, Chris Chambliss. Chris uh, has experience with another uh, deregulation company called XL Communications that was taking the advantage of the deregulation of the telecom industry and was able and instrumental to bring that company from basically startup to over a billion dollars in sales in less than six years. A truly amazing accomplishment. Well, how have these two gentlemen done in uh, forming Ambit Energy? They've redone that uh, billion dollars in less than seven years, actually. So as far as I know, Chris is the only person ever to have participated in two companies with that kind of track record. Um, but before they ever uh, signed on an individual customer, they knew that if, oops, they knew, where's the pointer over there? Somewhere in here there's a pointer. No? There we go. They knew that in order to, see, I'm, I'm a pharmacist, I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. They knew that they were going to need a team to have us become successful. You don't build a skyscraper on a, on a stone rubble foundation. You build the biggest, hunk and strongest foundation you can possibly build. And in order to do that, they knew that the structure was going to be tremendous, so they needed to build a foundation by bringing in a, basically a superstar team of managerial experience to create that foundation upon which to build. Along the way, we've received a number of accolades. I should, I should learn to look at this thing. It's much easier. A number of accolades along the way. We've been recognized by uh, publications, by business schools. We've uh, received uh, five times we've been featured in Success From Home magazine, which is a national publication that has devoted an entire issue to Ambit Energy, which is a pretty remarkable uh, feat in itself. Uh, this is what it looks like. In fact, uh, you'll see one of our presenters a little later on on the cover of this particular issue. We've also been featured in the direct selling news top 100. We are currently number 12 in the world uh, of companies that retail anything on earth. 12th in the world. Now, what you have to know is that numbers 1 through 11 are companies that have been in business for an average of more than 50 years operate in dozens, if not hundreds, of countries, and we're only in parts of 14 states. Pretty amazing that we're at number 12 yeah. at this point. But one of the, really, uh, the crown jewels of our accolades is being featured in 2010 uh, in the uh, 
Inc. Magazine's publication of the fastest growing companies in the United States. In 2010, Ampit was rated as number one fastest growing company in the United States. Pretty amazing track record for those two gentlemen. So why, how is this all happening? Deregulation is opening the window. Well, what does that really mean? Energy monopolies are being broken up. The government has said that the energy companies can no longer control every facet of energy distribution in this country. And consequently, customers for the first time in their lives have the opportunity to choose who they're going to buy their electricity from. Timing being perfect. Well, you're going to see that in just a second because I think this is absolutely astonishing. Currently, here's our potential market. The orange states are the states that Ambit currently is doing business in. It represents about $72 billion per year in money being spent on energy. Of that, uh, those orange states, we have about 54 million uh, potential customers. And the best part about it altogether to me is that we have about a 3% market share overall. 3%. Who likes dessert? <laughs> Loan, well, what's your favorite dessert? Um, tiramisu. 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 OK. It's Thanksgiving, and the whole family has come over, and everybody brought tiramisu. And they're finished with uh, dinner. We're finished with dessert. <laughs> And there's 97% of that tiramisu still on the table for you and me. Isn't that pretty cool? Well, what's even more cool to me is that all of these gray states, they're the relatives who haven't made it to dinner yet, and they're bringing more tiramisu. Yeah. So let's see here for dessert. All right. <laughs> so how is this going to work? Well, in the old days, uh, when the energy monopolies were in place, they controlled all phases of the distribution. They generated it. They arranged to have it delivered through the grid, the wires, the uh, infrastructure, if you will. And they also retailed it to the consumer. Now, with the uh, government saying that they could no longer do that, the energy companies said, well, we have this gigantic investment in the actual hard assets of the pipes and the wires and what have you, we'll keep the delivery part. We'll open up the opportunity for other companies to come in and generate, and we we'll open up the opportunity for companies like Ambit to actually do the retailing. So that's where we fit into this particular puzzle. Now, let's talk a little bit about the value proposition for customers. So for customers, we really call it the perfect product or the perfect service. You really don't sell anything at Ambit because you already buy it. You're already using it. You're using it even though you're sitting in this room, you're using it. Not only are you using it, but everybody you know and don't know uses it. So you really can't sell something to somebody who's already use, using the particular product. There is no cost to switch, and nothing at all changes for the customer. In addition, we have no long-term contracts, which I really think should be on that slide, but that's an important piece to our particular puzzle. For uh, business owners, there's no inventory. We don't store it. I don't have uh, electricity in my car. I don't have ga uh, natural gas in my car. That's debatable. Um, I don't deliver it. And I certainly don't collect any money. But as a former business owner, I don't know if there are any business owners in, in the room, one of the things that really should be on here is no employees. Because I know that for a lot of my time with uh, the three businesses that I owned, I was dealing with um, the issues raised by employees. I, I used to say I didn't have children, but I had employees. They act like children. So having an Ambit business eliminates all of those things. Now, for the customers, we, are, we will offer competitive rates in every uh, market that we uh, do business in, any of those orange.